Assalamu alaikum dear friends, I am engineer Sepo and you are watching Sepo engineer at site YouTube channel. So guys, today I am going to share an important video about Saudi consulate engineers. So before starting the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video and share it with your friends. So let's start the video. The first question, what is Saudi Council of engineer or engineering? So guys, as you know that every country has a engineering universities and technical colleges and they have their own councils for engineers to facilitate their engineer and provide them job opportunities to their graduated and diploma holder engineers. So the same, Saudi has a Saudi Council of Engineers for their diploma holder and graduated engineer to facilitate them, provide them training, seminars and engineering job opportunities. But if you are a foreigner and you are expatriates, you can also get registration from Saudi Council of Engineers. But they have some requirements. About the requirement and application procedure, I will tell you in the end of this video. But the main thing, how it will affect your career in Saudi Arabia. If you are registered with the Saudi Council of Engineering and you are not registered with Saudi Council of Engineering. So, guys, as you know that nowadays, a lot of mega projects are ongoing in Saudi Arabia and mega projects always international consultant or multinational consultant and big contracting companies are working. So if you, when you want to work with the international or multinational consultant and big companies, contracting companies, so they have some high requirements. Why they have high requirements? Because they are working in mega projects and with clients. So for all mega projects, the client requirement is that every engineer should be registered with Saudi Council of Engineering. If he has a quantity surveyor, land surveyor, safety engineer, KVQ engineer, civil engineer, electrical engineer, mechanical engineer, whatever he has a position, but he should be registered with Saudi Council of Engineers. One thing, when you are registered with Saudi Council of Engineers, you will be fed highly as compared to non-registered engineers. When you are registered with Saudi Council of Engineers, so getting job opportunity will be 90% more as compared to the non-registered engineer. Why? Because when there is a project, so mega projects are small projects to the good companies and are trying to take the projects and the client requirement is same as I told you that they need engineers with registration. So when you have registration with Saudi Council of Engineers, you will be get job easily as compared to the non-registered uh, applicants. When you are registered with Saudi Council of Engineers, you can get job in consultant also. If you have five, five to eight year experience and you are registered with Saudi Council of Engineers, you can get job easily for seven inspector as compared to non-registered. Non-registered engineers cannot get job in the consultant. Why? Because 95% or 98% consultants need applicants with Saudi Council of Engineering registration. So if you are not registered with them, so you stop dreaming about work with consultant. And the other, there are some also more benefits like when you get registration, so you can change your account of profession to engineer and you are coming after getting the registration from Saudi Council of Engineering you can change your ekama easily you can upgrade your profession in ekama easily when you upgrade your profession in ekama easily so you will get more benefits in Saudi Arabia like you can bring domestic workers like a driver cook sweeper house cleaner from any country easily as compared to non-registered engineer non-registered engineer mostly they are labor in their professions Electrician, like now, all electricians should have have a Saudi Council of Engineering registration. So only you can say labor drivers and carpenter steel fixer profession in Ekama they are not registered. And if you want to become an electrician uh, or uh, surveyor anything, so you have to get registration from Saudi Council of Engineering. So these are some benefits because we are coming to Saudi Arabia to work and earn money. When you want to earn money and work, you need a good environment, good companies which can give you a good environment to work and bonuses and high salaries. 
so for good environment high salaries you need some personal of engineering registration can you change your position in gamma in gamma uh, before registration or after registration so when you get registration from Saudi Council of Engineers, as per your registration, you can change the position and profession in Yakama. Like if you get registration as a civil engineer, so you can upgrade the position in your Yakama as a civil engineer. If you don't want so, no problem. Now, there are some disadvantages. It's not disadvantages, but like you have to think about that. When you upgrade your position in Yakama, you cannot downgrade that position. So after that, if you went to your country and exit and you want to come again on a new visa, so you should choose the visa with civil engineer profession because you cannot come to Saudi Arabia on any other profession. One thing, you cannot downgrade your position, uh, profession in the Kama. The second thing, Saudi Arabia and all sectors are on its peak. So if Saudi government announces that all engineers or all civil engineers should be Saudi national and you have a profession, so civil engineer in your Yakama, so you have you cannot renew your Yakama, you have to leave your job and leave Saudi Arabia and went back to your country and then you cannot come back to Saudi Arabia or any other position and any other profession because you already already you are registered with it as a civil engineer so this is some advantage disadvantages now what are the requirements for Saudi Council registration you have minimum five year experience after graduation so some people are thinking that they have do job they have to do the job five years after no this is not about the job that you did the job five years when you complete the graduation 2020 and you have to get the registration 2025 if you if you work or not work in this tenure or duration it's not a matter you have you need only five years after your graduation so for that if you start a work with any company so you can get any uh, you have to obtain get the experience letter of five years from any company so you can get it easily from any company it's not an issue when you get that five year experience letter after that you have attested your all experience certificates and degree from your country foreign office and the uh, universities should be still be verified in after that so the mbc and so the culture office you have to get attestation from these deeper uh, uh so the uh, culture mbc and university and foreign officer of your country now, after that you have to upload all these attested documents to some council of engineering website for that you have to make a uh, profile in their website how to make the profile for this i will uh, upload a different video when you upload all the documents you have to apply for the Saudi Council of engineer registration and if you have all the legal documents and you have a five year experience you will get it easily and you will then you will be a registered engineer in Saudi Council of engineering and after that if you want you can change the position in your FM. So guys, if you have any question about Saudi, uh, Saudi Council of Engineering Registration or jobs in Saudi Arabia market, so you can ask in the comment section and I will try to respond there. If not possible, I will make a video. And you can also contact me because a lot of people are asking for WhatsApp number. So this is not a professional thing to give my WhatsApp number in the comment section because it's related to my privacy. But you can contact me on my social the media links like linkedin instagram facebook its links are available in the description so thank you so much for watching my video and if you want to appreciate me just like my video and subscribe it and share it with your friend thank you